Authorities say the investigation into the deadly explosion in downtown Youngstown could take as long as six months, while the Tavern on the Square in New Wilmington reopens after a $2 million renovation, blending historic charm with modern cuisine. Those stories and more on today's Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Authorities may need six months to complete the investigation into a downtown explosion that killed a Chase Bank employee and injured several others. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, and the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio, PUCO, are involved in the investigation of the explosion that occurred at the Realty Tower on Federal Square. An OSHA spokesman confirmed that they are working with the incident command team and the fire marshal's investigation team to determine the cause of the explosion. By law, OSHA has six months to complete its investigation. The National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, has dispatched pipeline and hazardous materials investigators. PUCO Gas Pipeline Safety Investigators are on the scene working with the Federal Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration. The investigation is ongoing. Dominion Gas, the Mahoning County Coroner's Office, the State Fire Marshal's Fire and Explosion Investigations Bureau and local fire and police departments are also investigating. Debris from the explosion was visible on Wednesday, leading the city to close roads around the building as a safety measure. A structural engineer hired by the building's owner will assess the damage. Both the Realty Tower and the Doubletree by Hilton Youngstown downtown remain closed. Architect Paul Raschuti believes the building is structurally sound, although he is unsure about the impact on the steel columns. His initial assessment suggests the building remains intact. A historic restaurant in New Wilmington has reopened. The Tavern on the Square, established in 1849, welcomed guests again on Wednesday, following a $2 million plus restoration and expansion. Owned by Matt and Maggie Noble, both with culinary backgrounds, the restaurant had been closed since 2020. The tavern features dishes including buttermilk fried chicken and items from a new pizza oven. Daily specials using seasonal ingredients will be introduced in the coming weeks. Following a soft opening and tours, the 100-seat restaurant, located at Market Street and Neshanic Avenue, was fully booked on opening day. The renovation included restoring each room to its original appearance, moving and expanding the kitchen, adding a second-floor terrace, and constructing a stairwell and elevator. A neighboring building was converted into a gift shop named The Mercantile. The restaurant employs 55. And in the latest segment from our Business Journal Roundtable series on repopulation, Guy Coviello, President and CEO of the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber, discusses innovative public policy opportunities in housing. We've had uh, some very early conversations about tax incentives for employers who would pay, make the down payment on a house for their employees, and then the employer gets a tax credit for, for that. You know, if you think about it, if, if the down payment, you know, and again, I'm talking about, uh, you know, higher end workers, not higher end, but higher paid workers and, you know, the house, a new house is going to cost $400,000. And you're, so you're looking at an $80,000 down payment. And so if the uh, employer, what we would like to see is the employer makes that $80,000 down payment and forgives, you know, an eighth of it or, you know, a tenth of it every year for 10 years or an eighth of it every year for eight years. Um, whatever it is, and then that retains that employee, and then we want the state at the same time to say, okay, for doing that, we're going to give the employer some sort of tax, uh, maybe tax credit, maybe tax deduction, some kind of tax break, induce people to come here, uh, take the jobs, build the house. You can hear more in today's 3 Minutes with video. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at 717cu.com/rates.